Question 6. ABCD is a parallelogram. Angle ADB is 38 degrees. Angle BEC so B, e, is 41 degrees. And angle DAB is 120 degrees. Calculate the size of angle X. You must give reasons for your answer. Now there's several things that you can find out from this. Try and limit it to only the important ones, but the bit that most people miss out is giving reasons for their answer. This little star here indicates we're going to have to give some worded answers. Also, the other point people make is calling the angles by the wrong name. This is an angle A, as it's specified in the question, it's called angle D, A, B the angle formed between those three points. So if you're describing an angle in your answers, give it the correct names. Now, a few things that we could point out, and it might be worth making a note of them somewhere, just in case that they will give us marks. So we know that DEC as a triangle, which you can indicate as just drawing a triangle before it, is 180 degrees. So we know that triangles have 180 degrees. Um, the other side that we're going to we have to work out then is, do we know what these other angles are? Well, we could work out this angle here, can't we? This angle formed between D, E and C. So let's work that out. D, E, C. D, C is an angle, so I'm just going to put a little angle above the E to show that I'm working out an angle instead of a triangle. So DEC. Now the way to work this one out is it's on a straight line next to 41. So straight lines are 180 degrees. If we take away 41 we're left with 139 degrees. Now we can write that on to help us work things out afterwards but we've not given a reason for this and it's the bit say most people will miss out so do make sure that you put down straight line equals 180 degrees and that alone would probably be justification for you doing this calculation you could also mention that it's next to angle BEC so therefore you have to take away 41 the more you write the better now, if we know this angle, can we work out what angle EDC is? Well, we were told that this is a parallelogram. nice thing to remember is that all angles in a parallelogram add up to 360 degrees. Opposite angles are the same, so BCD would also be 120. But that means that these two would also be the same. So if they're both 120, these two would both be 60. So, we can word that in a few ways, but if I said here, angle A, D, C is equal to 60 degrees, because, the because is the important part, give reasons in a correct mathematical way to describe your answers, because, parallelogram, has 360 degrees internally and opposite angles are equal. You could also mention that BAD and ADC are co-interior. Co-interior angles must add up to 180 degrees. Again, all of these mathematical words is what the point of the question is and what it's looking for. So, co interior angles add to 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 120 equals 60 degrees. Either of those explanations would be good enough to earn you the mark. So if we know that that whole angle there is 60, we can work out angle 
E, D, C. So angle E, D, C can be given as 60, subtracting the angle that we know, which is 38, leaving us with an angle of 22 degrees. So this angle inside my triangle is 22 degrees. Now we've got two angles, we should be able to work out what x is. So, angle x is equal to, now we can call this angle x because it's been labelled as such. You can still call it ECD, that's perfectly fine. But we need to do 180, take away 139 degrees, and then take away the 22 degrees. Whatever's left over will be our missing angle any point feel free to use your calculator you don't have to do it all in your head the missing angle there is 19 degrees something's missing from my answer I haven't given a reason for this calculation so I can make a little note to the side and say I know I've noted it at the top but just to be safe angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. It's a very wordy answer, but it gives reasons for all our answers. We've justified every calculation, so we've got we've proven the answer is 19 degrees.